everyone, Holly here from Sunkiss Tans. Uh, today I am going to show you this awesome curler that I got from um, a shop the other day. Um, it's a Q-Tech curler and it's um, a flat barrel rather than a circular barrel. So here it is up close. Um, I've never tried it before. I've had it for probably a few months. Um, so I'm going to curl my hair um, and see what I think, basically, and see if you like it. Tell me all about it. Um, so I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair. Um, I do my hair in three sections, and I basically just washed it the other day, um, just standard washing. Haven't done anything with it because I'm a mum and I get lazy, so whatever. Um, now what you're going to do is when you start with the first side is you're always wanting to curl the hair away. So you grab a small section of your hair and you're curling it, sorry, away from the face is what I'm trying to go with there. Just trying to get in the camera so you can see. Alright, so you're pointing it down and you only really need to do the ends of the bottom section. And I just count to like 10 and then I just let it go. That's quite nice. Alright, so I'm going to get a next little section of hair and then I'm going to do the same thing. Just curl it around. That one didn't go so well because of the layers. <laughs> go. Alright, so then when you get to the other side you swap hands. So I was just holding this side with my left hand. I'm going to now take it with my right hand and I'm going to do the same thing. So the curls go in a different direction because it's still going away from the face. So you're winding it away from the face. Now the thicker the pieces of hair that you grab, um, the less it's going to curl. So I'm going to do this in two separate sections because otherwise it's going to be just far too much. Now um, the Q-Tech Ceramic Flat Curler did come with a little um, glove that you use so that you don't burn your fingers. Um, but I'm really lazy so I haven't used it. So just Feel free to laugh at me when I burn myself, because it's going to happen. <laughs> Alright, I've got to find this last little piece of hair. The good thing about this one is because it's a flat curler, you don't actually have to keep the hair flat. If you want to get nice curls, you can actually twist the hair as you go. Alright, there's that section. Alright, I'm going to go on and do the next section of hair and I'll stop and show you. But um, I don't run my fingers through it until I'm completely finished. But each section, I will actually... Um, put hairspray on sorry I forgot what I was trying to say there um, but I'll show you in a minute the next section so I'm up to the next section and I've already done a few curls now um, I just wanted to go into with the bottom section you just did sort of from the middle to the ends of the hair to keep that length um, when you move up to the next section you actually start your curls um, more in the middle so from the middle down you don't go all the way up to the top otherwise the curls are too tight and the top ones sit on them funny so I'm just sort of starting halfway down wrapping the hair around and counting to ten um, grabbing small sections of hair again etc etc so the second section is done I'm about to hairspray and then do the third section. Um, so I'll take you through how to get the third section done because you are wanting to do up quite close. So take 
this out. Make sure you part your hair in the way that you want it to be parted. Okay. So you're really wanting to make sure that you are getting up as close as you can and curling away from the face. And you get right up to the root, if you can. <laughs> a bit crazy right now but um, once we brush that through it'll be fine so you're getting quite small pieces for the top section um, because you want the curls to look their best there really all right close to the scalp as you can again and just twisting around and around burnt myself. It gets bloody hot this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so I've finished all of um, the top section. Um, let's just say it's not my greatest work. Um, I'm doing a rush job while baby's asleep and the rest of my kids are out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hairspray. So you want to wait until the hair has cooled down until you run your fingers through it. Um, and you do want to keep your curler on just in case there are any bits that you um, like missed or anything like that. Um, my fringe, I stupidly went and curled. Um, yeah, don't do that. Because <laughs> then you end up looking like this. But anyway, so I'm going to go crazy because I love the smell of this hairspray. It's amazing. I would ha have to say though that this um, curling wand is way easier than my circular one because you don't have to keep the hair flat you can just twist it so I did find I could do it super quick um, but here we go I'm gonna run my fingers through my hair and let's get some beachy curls today can never get this front section right to be honest with you so I always just like pin it under there we go <laughs> all right so there is the finished product I will likely probably straighten this or clip this back that's just something that I have a, a bit of a problem with um, but yeah so there is your curled hair just super beachy. I'm going to give a spin so you can have a look. Alright, tell us what you think. Um, leave a comment. I'm just going to shake and see what happens. Alright, there you go. I'm ready to go to the vet, which is my errands for today. <laughs> Alright, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.